right. Today we talk about how to win in sports betting. Now I understand this is a question you have been asking and I went through the questions through the comment sessions on YouTube, you know, TikTok, Instagram, Telegram, and I found that you people have eight constant back-to-back questions on how to win in sports betting. So in this video, I'm about to make it extremely easy for you. You only need to do one thing, grab yourself a pen, a book, I don't know what you have, but somewhere you can document the answers I'm about to give in regards to your questions, okay? So let me pick my phone and let us get started, okay? I also need you to ensure you are liking the video, subscribing, turning on notifications, because multiple videos of this caliber where I answer your betting questions, your sports questions, will be posted on the Must Better YouTube channel. So the first question, what should one be focusing on to be successful in sports betting? I understand you want to be successful in sports betting. I understand that is everyone's goal in sports betting, okay? So you're supposed to focus on how to win. And the easiest way to win in sports betting in 2024 is having a strategy. So first, your answer to the question on what you're supposed to focus on is focus on betting strategies. Because without a strategy, you're flying blind. And when you fly blind, you're doomed to lose. You are doomed to, let me say, you're not going to get to your destination, you see. So you need help. And the help can be attained by having a betting strategy. So where do you get the betting strategies? I know, of course, that is the next question. There are multiple on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook, on Google Chrome, okay? Go get them. So second question, what is the best way to make money betting? Now, this is a question that is also common, extremely common. Everyone wants to make money betting. The goal is to earn money when you stake on sports. Now I'm going to go, I'm going to oppose your common knowledge about making money on sports. To make money on sports, you need to have capital. That is something many of you lack today. When I say capital, I mean you need big capital. You need heavy capital, okay? So heavy capital is not going to be $1, $2, $3. We're talking about solid capital. How do you get the solid capital? This is now where you need to know how to make money in betting. There are multiple betting sites. I see many of the tipsters advertising them nowadays. We have, I don't know, 22bet, 1xbet, I don't know, ebet. There are so, so many betting sites. And each of these betting sites, they come with something known as bonuses. Because right now you are a brokey, you are broke, and you are struggling to make money on sports. What are you supposed to do? You are supposed to focus and you are supposed to utilize to the fullest, to the fullest, okay? There's bonuses. There's Friday, I don't know, Friday deposit bonus, Wednesday double bonus, Thursday double bonus kind of stuff, where if you are betting actively during the week and you deposit money to your betting account, either on Wednesday, Friday, or Thursday, you get an equal amount in your bonus account. And you only need to roll over using three odds. Something extremely easy. The only problem today, we have a breed of sports bettors who are extremely lazy, want to be spoon-fed. I give you everything you need, but you'll still be looking at me and saying, must better, give us the next way. I've given you extremely all the useful ways. In fact, they're the extreme ways of making money. And they're extreme, simple, but you need to commit, okay? So third question. What betting platform do you use? I do not understand why you guys are obsessed with the betting platform I'm using. I use the normal betting platforms you use. In fact, in my videos, many of the time, I'll be talking about it. Yeah, I use betting platforms that allow me to get highest odds, quick cash outs, and allow me to bet in currencies that have an advantage. Because you realize the bookies already have an advantage, so the only way we can get an advantage in sports betting is when we have an open mind. How do you have an open mind or how do you attain the open mind in sports betting? You avoid rigidity or what? You avoid being a rigid individual and you become flexible. Some of you, you are conditioned to bet with your traditional betting sites. I don't know. Some, only sporty bet. You only know sporty bet your entire life. 
some of you, I don't know, Bet Niger, some of you, Cosa Bet, very, very funny names. And you expect to compete with individuals who are making money in sports. You are doomed. The reason why you are supposed to be flexible is so that you are in a position to fish for betting sites that have the highest hordes for the games you're going to be betting on. You understand? I stake on value bets most of the time. But because I've been banned multiple times by the local bookies, I can no longer use the local bookies. And right now, as it stands, I'm using only one betting site. And because there is no way I'm giving them free promotion, I'm not mentioning their name. Okay? So next, what is your biggest win in sports betting? I understand you people think that sports betting is easy. And you also want to be encouraged when you hear that must bet I won $10,000 on a single bet. You will be like, yeah, yeah, actually I can do it. Yeah, so my biggest win on sports betting was a risky bet. I remember staking $1,000 on one game with six odds. So if your maths is right, if your calculation is right, you have your answer. That was my biggest win. And in fact, it was in 2020, okay? That is the time I recorded the biggest individual win on a single bet ever since. I have not won $6,000 on a single bet. But the amount of money I've made over the days, over the months, over the years is more than that. So next question again. Who is a professional sports better? A question that... You know, many a times, personally, I talk about somebody being professional. I'll tell you that you need to become a professional sports better. You need to become a pro better. So is a professional sports better. A professional sports better is somebody who has a strategy. I know you have no strategy. The only strategy you have is waking up in the morning, going to YouTube, searching for betting videos, and picking them randomly, Betting on them randomly, expecting to win. That is not a strategy. A strategy is a game plan that you have, developed by you, okay, that you're using to make money. You also need to realize that these strategies, they shift from time to time. There are days, there are seasons in which strategy A will be working. There are seasons in which strategy A will be obsolete and you will need to come up with a new strategy. That is why... Professional sports bettors have seasons in which they win and seasons in which they lose. But at the end of the day, they have strategies that they have formed them themselves, okay? You have formed the strategy yourself, and so you understand how you're supposed to stake. Are you supposed to stake high? Are you supposed to stake low? It's easy. I know you're kind of wondering, you know, what next? What next? How do I get to form my strategy? I shared a video on how to form your strategy. It's upon you to go form it. Next thing, what is the best betting market? You need to realize there is no best betting market. The best betting market is the market that is making you money at the moment. Okay? So, if the corners market is making you money at the moment, you can't say it is the best. If the goals market is making you money at the moment, you can't say it's the best. But it is something that varies from person to person. So what works for me might not be what works for you. What is the best betting sport? It is also what you understand and what is making you profit. So let us stop being guys who love to be rigid. You're supposed to be flexible. You're supposed to be open to new ideas. That is the only way you become better in sports betting. Okay? I'll tell you a story. You know, When I started betting, this was, uh, I think, in 2016. By now, you already have been betting for the last eight years. It's close to eight over seven, over six years, close to eight. Yeah, do the calculation, do the math. 2016, around July, to today, 2024, around May, okay? So, when I started betting, I did not understand anything about sports betting. I remember being in school, going to my brother's class, and I saw them, their friend, you know, the friend groups, and they are, they are seated, and they're like, oh... You know, there's these games, Man United, Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool. If I combine them, and then I use my $1 to stake, at the end of the day, I'm going to be having an additional $3. So, you, you know, like you are young, you are young, so you understand that this is easy money. At least you found a way to double money, something that you are presented a way out. So, boom. I have never, by then, I had never watched any football game. 
I remember watching the last game I watched was the Brazil vs Germany game in 2010 when Brazil was thrashed 7 to 1 or 7 to 2. But it was a devastating loss, okay? So, I go home the next day when we close for school and I'm also there. I get an account, open an account, and I'm busy gazing, okay? I log into the local betting site and I'm looking for odds that are high so that I can win big. I have my 0.5 dollars. I'm looking for the biggest odds, okay? So the importance of this story, the reason why I'm telling you this story is you are supposed to be somebody who is exploring, okay? That was me. I was exploring. And that is why I've encountered everything a sports better can encounter in their betting career, in their betting life. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of what you don't know. You must be willing to go the extra step, okay? The extra te- the extra step varies from person to person. It depends on where you are. And you are lucky today because we have people like the most better who have gone through the trenches, who have gone through all the stages of sports betting, and I can tell you exactly that you are not supposed to do A, but if you want to do A, well and good, continue doing A. We all know it will end. Anyway, next question. What is the best prediction app what is the best prediction site what is the best betting what these are questions that people love every sports better on youtube wants a video that is talking about best prediction site best prediction strategy best prediction tips best prediction app so in this video i'm just going to make it simple the best prediction app the best prediction app in 2024 to me is the sofascore app and i've talked about it in the last 5 days documenting how you can use this app how you can use this app to make your own winning predictions and you know the funny thing is as i expected you know you guys are not interested in things that solves the reality of sports betting it's simple if we are to compare the best prediction app with the best prediction site in 2024 you will see a clear disparity of what i'm talking about the best prediction site video has 100 it, in fact i think it attained 100k views in one month then the best prediction app video is sluggish the number of likes extremely on the low but the best prediction site because it had one site that was paid for the other site was free you people reign there you know you want done for you services okay So, this is the reason why you are losing. Right now I've given you the best prediction app. If you're somebody who is wise, if you're somebody who understands that you want to take sports betting as a long-term endeavor, you will opt to watch the best prediction app instead of watching the best prediction site. But because I'm also good, I understand that, you know, at the end of the day, human beings will always be human being. We will need the shortcut, we will need the easiest way out. I'll give you the easiest way out too. At the moment you know best prediction app so far squeeze is five videos back to back I've documented share the links how to get the app how to use the app what you're supposed to focus on you know and then we also have the other video for those who are looking for shortcuts easy way out best prediction sites I shared the best two prediction sites so it's done for you and now the final question have you stopped posting bets must better yeah I have stopped posting bets I have stopped posting bets, okay? And the reason why I have stopped posting bets is so that I teach you exactly how you can form your own bets, how you can form your own winning bets, okay? And I won't stop until you finally realize the essence of being a tipster or not being a tipster of understanding whatever you are doing. You can't just be the person the last three years I've been giving you games from morning every single day you busy watching you don't understand what it takes to analyze a game you have to know what we are doing okay so it's easy right now I am not posting bets but in the near future especially I don't know when I told you I don't care about when I'll be posting the next bets but when I start posting the next bets I understand you will need to take them seriously okay and apart from that you'll also need to know exactly 
how to analyze games. And that is one thing I'm doing right now. I'm teaching you exactly how to analyze games. Go to the Sovasco app, use the sections I talked about. Head-to-head streaks, team streaks, dropping odd section. And then we have the trending odd section. And then we have the dropping odd section. You narrow it down to the streaks. And then you narrow it down to the head-to-head streaks. And then we have the other one, which is known as individual team streaks, okay? How many games they have won against such a team kind of stuff. So Sofasco is the best app, basically, you know. The reason why I'm doing this video, the reason why I'm answering this video, is to once again talk about Sofasco. Until you finally understand the essence of the app, until you share the video, I won't stop. Winning in sports is easy. Winning the game is easy. You only need to put your ego aside. I understand some of you have so, I mean, you, 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 you have an extreme ego to a point where by you fail to differentiate between what is right and what is wrong. Right now, I am providing you what is right. You will run to what is wrong. And you see, but anyway, there's no problem. As long as you don't want to listen to me, I'm really happy because I'll get more time to do more videos. Yeah, and the videos will continue getting views. So you either listen, you either learn, or you're doomed to fail. Anyway, as I said, I do not know when I'll be posting the next video. But when we start posting the next video, you're supposed to be there. You're supposed to be a part of what is coming next. Because I tell you, there's going to be a lot of changes. I'm done with the answers you people love. Right now, I'm here to teach you. I'm here to show you exactly what's supposed to be done. So if you want to win, if you want to become a pro... If you want to win $6,000 maybe on a single bet, then you're welcome to subscribe. Share the video. Like the video. Watch the best betting app strategy video. Download the best apps, okay? And follow the strategies. Form your own strategies. I'll be answering more questions next time. It will be more narrowed down. It will be more specific. I'll pick one question, answer it in a given video. And you're going to love it. So for now, enjoy your Saturday. And I wish you the very best. Okay, because uh, it's, it's my duty to ensure that you guys find value in every video you watch. I'll go to my Sofasco app. The best betting app, of course. Dropping odd section. And pick you two games that you're supposed to take a note of. A very keen note of, okay. Today we have the Hacker vs. HGK game. It begins in the next few minutes. HGK to it. No, 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 th- not this one. Okay. Let me get it up. Let me bring it up for you. Okay. It's Mirren Rangers. Okay. PSG Le Havre. In fact, it plays today. If you go through the dropping out section, top head to head section, there is PSG playing again Le Havre. PSG winning because they have won their last. 11 out of, thir- out of 14 matches against Le Havre. So PSG win at an order of 1.35. And then the other game that you're supposed to take a note of, of course, is going to be this match. Mm-hmm. Where is it? Uh, St. Mirren Rangers. Bruges playing Anderlecht. No, this plays tomorrow. I think we have one that's supposed to be playing today. Mm-hmm. Melbourne FC, that one is tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Okay. Yes, Haka playing HGK. The odds for HGK winning is 1.85, but because you want to get a safer market, you have to take HGK win or a double chance. The odd on sofa score is lo- roughly 1.22. So we have 1.22 odd multiplied by the odds of PSG winning. The odds of PSG winning, multiply, multiply. Okay, let me bring it up. 1.22 multiplied by 1.33. Let me see how many odds that will be. So I'll clean it up. Huh? 1.22 by 1.33. 1.6 odds. So, that is your gift. Are you going to bet on it? It's upon you. But remember, it's a slip that I've formed. In a second, in a jiffy, by using the best prediction app in 2024. The best live score app in 2024.
The link is available in the video description in the comment section. I know you're going to be winning, so share the video and be a part of those who will be testifying when the match is finally played, okay? So, we are done. See you in the next one, brother.